What's up everyone, this is CyberGuide, and today I have a special opening for you guys. Uh, this is actually pretty much a random pack opening in a way, because we're going to open up this uh, Big and Collectibles Black Friday 100 random booster pack grab bag for you guys. So, yeah, this is probably one of the bigger things that Big Collectibles has on their site right now, going with the Black Friday deals and Cyber Monday, and of course they did send me this to an opening on, so I'm going to make sure that is clear. I have a link to this down in the description as well, and... Let's see what we get from this, because there's supposed to be a, you know, 100 packs in this, and I don't think it's all Yu-Gi-Oh!, but it's supposed to be a good variety of a lot of different stuff, too, so I, I can't wait to see what we're going to get. I mean, it it's basically a, a big random pack opening, it's just not all Yu-Gi-Oh!, I guess, which, by the way, I am planning on doing a, a pretty big opening at some point soon, because with uh, all the sales going on, I'm sure I could pick up uh, a few packs for some videos. Oh, just look at that. All those different packs right there. So, I gotta retell, you know, we got some Yu-Gi-Oh right there. It looks like Hard Fight, Pokemon, and everything. So, let me... I guess we'll sort this real quick so you guys can see what packs you can expect. So, Force of Will. Some of those. Pokemon. A lot of different ones. Evolutions. Oh, here's a Yu-Gi-Oh one thrown in. Flames of Destruction. Revival Collection. So, Buddy Fight and Card Fight, even, in the mix. So it really is random, because they're not all together even, like Force of Will, some more of those. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to have enough room to set everything. First world problems, right? Buddy Fight. Get those, case closed even, for Buddy Fight. That's their crossover. Weishwartz, so there's going to be a, a few that I'm not going to be able to say the names to, obviously. You know, if it was just Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd still have that problem, so I can't, <laughs> I can't say too much, right? I I'm known for pronouncing every card correctly, just saying. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> never get any crap for that, either. <laughs> uh, let's see, some more uh, Buddy Fight. I'm just hoping we have some good luck with all these, because I don't know exactly what's good from Buddy Fight. And, uh, like, Force of Will and stuff, too, so you guys are going to have to let me know. Because I'm mainly... Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, that's the one I know about. Some different card fight. I know a, a fair amount of card fight. I'll give myself a little more credit on that. So I'm trying to... There. We'll, we'll just make this work. Then a bunch of the... I think, yeah, this is a second pack that came out for card fight. Okay. I'll say, this one's familiar. I remember opening up a bunch of these anyway. Onslaught of Dragon Souls. Yeah. There we go. So there's like card fight right there. And then, I think the rest of these are all Yu-Gi-Oh! So, Chaos Impact, quite a few of them. Looks like, yeah, first edition ones, too. Can't wait to see what we get. Cybernetic Horizon, Hidden Summoners, Rising Rampage. So, let's just get to it. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's going to be a long video anyway, so I'm just going to go randomly. I'm sure we'll do a recap, but if you watch the full video, I, I do love you more. I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there, you guys. You can live with yourself. <laughs> Right? Uh, let's see, uh, Congrate. But yeah, I'm sure we'll do a recap or something. But also, I'm going to need some strength from you guys, so be sure to hit that like button and share your energy with me. Hey, there you go. Whoever did it, thank you. <laughs> we have uh, Welling of the Unchained Souls. That's a pretty good Ultra to get. There we go. I don't know if I've ever gotten that one. So, finally, right? That is awesome. I think that's a really hard one to get, too. Nebula Dragon. I'm going to have to go quickly through, like, commons and rares, though. Because, again, I don't don't want this to be too long a video, but I know it's not going to be too short. <laughs> Just kind of uh, what's going to happen. Then, ah, oh, we got the Marine Tests. Crystal Heart. Didn't know. I saw a Link Monster, so I was like, wait a minute. Didn't know what to expect on that. Maybe this will be the day I get a Prismatic even from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, focus. There we go. And Earl King. Another one of those. Let's go with some Pokemon. I'm not going to do the card trick, I don't think. Because, yeah, I want to save some time. Then we have Ralts, well, double Ralts, actually. And then we have Diancie. We actually got a Hollow, so not bad on that either. Oh, yeah, here's the, the code, by the way. There you go. Pause if you need to. You guys can have that. Let's go with another one. Hoping for some good luck from Pokemon. There's that Ralts again. Then uh, Electabuzz. And Ladian. 
Unfortunately, not as good on this one. There's code. Force of Will. I have exactly no idea what to expect. So I'm just hoping for the best. Because Force of Will is definitely the one I probably know the least about. Hey, oh, well, we got a super rare. I do know that's good, so <laughs> there you go. Cinderella the Ashen Maiden, so it's like an evil Cinderella, I guess. I was hoping it was like a J-Ruler. And then also we have Law of Silence. I think that's pretty good to get, though. We'll see. I have no idea on the values or anything either, so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. I mean, at least it's better than not getting a hollow, so it's got to be okay. What else, man? They got some cool artworks. I feel bad going through these so quickly. Have a Spiral of Despair. You must at least get a, like a Hollow Rare then from those. I was wondering how it worked. Oh, there you go. There's a Knight. You know I'm a fan of that then. And, oh, we got a J-Ruler. Okay, I know J-Rulers are good. That's like the one thing I do know from Force of Will. I don't know if this one of the better ones, but yeah, I'll, I'll at least take one. Helsing the Vampire Hunter. So, Hels Van Helsing is now the waifu. Okay, <laughs> I never thought I would say that. <laughs> and then also, uh, Chrissy the Wind Tracker. That is, that's pretty interesting. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the things I kind of find funny about Force of Will anyways, like, you know, they'll they'll do that kind of stuff. They kind of change different, like, fairy tales and things. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we have uh, Demon Castle. Well, at least we got a J-Ruler. I don't know if that's one of the better ones or what, but I do know those are supposed to be tough to get, so... Must be doing okay. We got a rare X uh, Dimension, Terminate Infinity. I'm just gonna have to stack some of those together. Hopefully Buddy Fight will do pretty well for us. And, as I say that, we get a double rare. Stronger, uh, change four? Zero four? I don't know how you say that word. So, <laughs> I, I hope I'm close. Looks like a German word. I, I'm, there's no way I'll say it right. Again, never mess up on any pronunciations. Not even once. Then, uh, oh, got a common holographic. Then also Meteor Arms. That one is a rare. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect on that. That's a cool looking dragon though. And then also a rare, the biggest dragon arms, a triple buster. Revival collection, I'll go with that. I know like everything's supposed to be good out of this. It's kind of like a mega pack sort of thing in a way for a card fight. Uh, let's see, uh, Steam uh, Breath Dragon. Then also Gateway Stealth Rogue. And then a G Guardian. This one is Bless Sparkle Sandy, which is a double rare. So you're at least getting a higher rarity card. Um, I'm just going to put them all together in the hollow pile, though. Because even though they're, like, rares, they're pretty cool looking. But yeah, you know you're getting good stuff from those packs. It's a bunch of reprints. Then uh, Rotary Sage. Uh, Psyqualia. Why not? Trying to keep it random for you guys. Oh yeah, this is one of those packs too where you don't get many cards. Yeah, you get two. <laughs> Velocity Dragon. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I don't want to put those with hollows. I forgot that Psyqualia Strife is like that. It's like a little promo pack, basically. And then Guard Griffin. All rare so far. Come on, let's get something cool. Let's get one of the cover cards. I think those are like the grade fours. Dominance Dragon. And then, uh, oh yeah, we got one of the knights. Rare. Got one of the uh, imaginary gifts as well, protect. And then also a double rare, okay, and this is one I actually know of. It is embodiment of armor, uh, uh, bar? I guess how you say it? I, I don't know if I ever say his name right. But yeah, I remember using this card back in the day with Kagero, so it is one I know of. <laughs> I, I probably never say his name right as well, but... I don't feel as stupid with that card, so <laughs> that's okay, right? Draw trigger and then Blasty Dragon. Let's get this one too. 
another protect. This time with the guy that uses the, the pirates. And then also another one of Strong Knight. I think we got one of those earlier. Don't worry, we'll head back to Yu-Gi-Oh here in just a second. So much ratty, I don't know what to do. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> open up everything. Oh man, uh, we got a triple rare. I'm about to say that has to be good because that looks really cool. Um, uh, hopefully it is one of the better ones. He looks awesome. Um, let's see, Transcendent Star Dragon Emperor uh, Iwigkit? Iwigkite? I, I don't know how you say that name. It's like another like German looking word or something, but yeah, he looks awesome. <laughs> I love the armor for this. He kind of looks like he's like a robot kind of Gundam like dragon sort of thing. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I like the way the card looks. That's the thing about Buddy Fight. I don't really know how the game works as well or anything. I never really I got into the anime, but their cards look really cool. So I'll give them that credit. They have some of the coolest looking cards. The card stock too is uh, very nice. I like how the cards are thicker. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh was that way. Because it's a little bit tougher for them to get damaged, I feel like. Wheel coin. I don't know what that means, but it just looks cool. And, uh, oh, hey, this is a rare. Uh, Rahab. <laughs> there. I'll say that part of his name. I feel like I should go quicker with some of these that are just like rares and stuff. So I'm not trying to film a movie here. And then we got another trooper rare. Seriously, buddy fight. You got my back. Okay. <laughs> we have a Star Dragoneer uh, Astro uh, Beacon. That is awesome. All right. Again, seriously, Buddy Fight's helping me out here. Let's see you step up as well, Yu-Gi-Oh. Come on. <laughs> You're my main card game. You're not the side card game. Help me out. <laughs> right? And Mirror Force Launcher. See, that's how I get treated. Right there. Oh, well. Try again. Never know a Siren of Carousing. Everything's been reprinted from it, though, so. I can think of, anyway. Hippo Shingen, it's pretty decent. And the Incantations as well. I'll give that one a pass. <laughs> Both a, a good super and a good rare. Contact Gate. And aw, we got uh, Umbra Mirage, Elemental Lord. I was hoping for at least something above a super from those. Unfortunately not. Again, Buddy Fight has my back, so I'm going back to that. <laughs> I'm running back to Buddy Fight's arms. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Wait, is that a... Okay, that's an uncommon. That just looks like it was a higher rarity. Uh, let's see, Water Demon. That one is a rare. Okay, now Buddy Fight's being mean. Uh, Force of Will. Man, there's a lot of cards in these packs, too, for Force of Will. I feel like I'm holding so many cards. Really neat looking. Again, I wish I had more time to look through them. Light magic stone. I like these life point things. I don't know what the life point things do. Let me know if you guys know. They just look neat, but I don't know. I guess they're just there to help you count your life points in the game. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. We have uh, drag the red dragon. Uh, where have I been? No, I think I've just been stacking them all together, haven't I? Okay. I was gonna look for where I've been putting the force of will cards, but I'm kind of just putting them together. So that'll work. Anything else from this one? This is a different set for force of will. Then, oh, we got Fenrir. He's cool looking. And then also we have a rare, which is the Return of God. Really, is that supposed to be God? I, hmm, I pictured something different. That's more Labyrinth, you know? <laughs> That's what that reminds me of, the movie Labyrinth. Um, I guess it is rare, so we'll just uh, keep those all together. It's not a higher rarity, I guess, technically. Yeah, it looks like David Bowie from uh, Labyrinth, more than what, what I would picture God, to be honest. Just throwing it out there. Uh, Rowlet and Parasect. Aw. It's hoping for something a little cooler on that one. There is the code. And Evolutions. It's the last Pokemon pack. So I'm hoping we end with something like a Blastoise or a Charizard or something, right? I mean, it's Evolutions. We can get some of the starter Pokemon. They're fun Evolutions. Diglett, Caterpie, Poliwag. Have a full heal and... Yes, we actually did get something cool. We got a full art. Oh man, that is awesome looking too. It is a Mega Pidgeot EX. So that is really cool. And that's another, uh, you know, one from the older days I remember using. You gotta have Pidgeot on your team. I mean, come on. Everyone caught Pidgey like at the beginning, right? 
that is a really cool one too. That's what I miss about Pokemon as well, like Mega Evolutions. I feel like we, I, I wish we would have continued with that even with Sword and Shield. I mean, the Gigamax thing and all that's kind of cool, but I would really enjoy seeing more Mega Evolutions. So yeah, <laughs> at least we ended Pokemon with something awesome though. I'll take that. But I really wish uh, they would continue with Mega Evolutions. Maybe they will at some point. They'll go back to it. I want a Typhlosion Mega. Just throwing it out there. Then uh, we got the Aero uh, Seraphi uh, Sweet uh, Marjam. Then also Overburst Dragon. Uh, I've been stacking. Yeah, I'll say I've been putting those different. I've been actually sorting the Yu Gi Oh cards more. I'm going to sort all these uh, after this video is over. Have uh, Gorgon, the Empress of Evil Ad. I always, every time I see this card, I always hope it's the Prismatic. Just for a second, I'm like, oh, please, ah. Oh. Because <laughs> it's a cool looking one. And Brutal Beast Battle. It gets me every time of that, because I'm like, is it? Ah. Oh. Because <laughs> I'll be honest, I'll take any Prismatic I can get. But that, that'd be a cool one to get, too. It's a pretty good card and uh, neat artwork, too. There we go, make sure it focused. Have a Dream Mirror Phantasms and Gladiator Beast. Back to buddy fights. Checking my camera, by the way, because on the face cam, after 20 minutes, I have to restart it or it will do it itself. See, so Champion Lord. Looks like just a rare on that one, unfortunately. Then. Ah, oh, I thought we had something higher rarity. Awaken DD Dragon, Garcat. Well, at least like a dragon cat, so you can't go wrong with that. There you go. <laughs> sure, why not? An interesting idea. Phantasmal Steed. I think that's a pretty good set for card fight. Let's see if we can get some uh, Shadow Paladins. We might actually have something. I don't know. Oh, we might. Uh, Variants uh, Shut Arm and... Uh, yeah, it is a Shadow Paladin, too. It's even a double rare. So it is Frontline Revenger uh, Plotus, I guess I say that. There we go. Okay. I'll take any of the Paladins. I say that for card fight all the time. Any of the Paladins are good, so. And, you know, if you have the name Cyber Knight, you probably are okay with getting any Paladin cards, right? <laughs> any Knights in general. Then, uh, Skeleton Sharpshooter and Battle Heroine. Make another stack of cards, because that one, yeah. I don't know how much longer it's going to be able to stay there. I put them in the boxes I was going, but I think they'll just fall over every time. Then, well, we have a card sticking together. Uh, first off, we have, uh, let's see, uh, Seabed Demon Beast. It's kind of scary looking. And then also we have Trebador, uh, uh, Cavity... Trebador uh, Cadaver Alfie. Okay, there. <laughs> if I'll say, I, I know how to say the words if I can just say them. <laughs> and it is a double rare. I'll say, just stop, take a breath. You can say this name. Okay. I'm not even going to edit that. Sometimes I edit if I have a hard time with a name. That's why you'll notice some weird cuts sometimes in my videos. But, nah. I'm not doing it for this one. <laughs> I'm going to be lazy. Uh, we have uh, V Graduation Quantum Ruler. So, another double rare. So, we're getting them, like, from Card Fight and Buddy Fight now. Force of Will. And, yeah, pretty soon we'll have to restart the face cam. Oh, that's something you wouldn't see in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? You actually have a cross. That doesn't exist in Yu-Gi-Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> what in the world? What are we doing here? Yeah, they don't have to deal with as many sensors, evidently. Uh, oh, I thought that was a J-Ruler. But it is an SR. It's a super rare. Uh, Etna the uh, Snow Queen. Kind of cool looking. Oh, okay, that one's a rare. For a second, I thought I got, like, two super rares. Well, there you go. They always have really nice artwork on these cards. I always think everything's a J-Ruler, though. <laughs> so, yeah, let me restart the face cam, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and uh, let's get to it. Still have plenty of packs to go through, as you guys can see. I don't know if we made it about halfway or what. I have not kept count. So, I have no idea. We'll just see. <laughs> when the table's clear, then we, we got them. See, uh, oh, that is a ruler. That's actually a rare ruler. I didn't know you could get them like that. Huh. So yeah, that's different with ruler cards. They have it where on the other side they have another artwork. It's like what they, I think, transform into, basically, if I remember correctly. And also we got this cool-looking sword, Ragnarok. Pretty cool. 
I didn't know they could just be rares as well. So I thought it was only like higher rated cards could be rulers. It's pretty interesting then. Then, oh, here we go. We got Striker Dragon. That's a good one to get for sure. I mean, that's still one of the toughest uh, Ultra Rares really to get of the set. So yeah, it's kind of funny because uh, the Ultra Rares are basically uh, the higher priced cards from this set, it seems like. When you have Mascarina as well. Of course, not counting Prismatics. Those are on a different level. Then uh, we have a Dream Mirror Friend this time. The one I always want to see Fiend. I still want to do it. Still have to fight myself. Now I think this is the last one for Force of Will, unless we have some more that's <laughs> with those other packs. We have uh, a super rare. Okay, cool. We have Abel the Avenger of Gods. That is a really cool looking card, too. I like his sword. Then, yeah, so, well, we got an, a super rare again. I'm having some alright luck with Force of Will. I'm kind of surprised. Here, move these out of my way. I guess they're technically behind me because of the face cam, <laughs> so you guys can see them a little bit better. I guess they've been behind me the whole time. Alright, now with Buddy Fights. Have a nice one. Now that's an easy card name right there. Okay, Konami learn from that. <laughs> that is much easier. Oh, that's cool as well. I like the swords and stuff. Then also a rear which is a saber called dragon. And one more. Looks like we have some of those golden packs as well, which is pretty much gold series for buddy fight. I guess the best way to put it. And uh, this one is actually a triple rare. It is Devil Advantage. Oh, yeah, it has, like, Asmodai in the background. I do know his name, at least. That's a little bit I know from Buddy Fight. So, I, hopefully that's a good one. I mean, at least it's triple rare. And now for the golden Buddy Packs. Everything's holographic. I think it's, again, it's like Gold Series. I mean, it's really the best comparison. So, I'm not going to name off all these. I'm just going to show them to you guys. Save a little bit of time. I think they're all double rare, so far, at least. And yeah, I mean, just those artworks are really cool. I mean, even if you don't like Buddy Fight, I think you would agree on that. I think the whole set might just be uh, double rares. So we're just going to cheat and also just put them all in the higher rarity pile. Man, that's cool looking. Ghoul Dragon Emperor. Seriously, they come up with some cool artworks. Now case closed. I think you're at least guaranteed a hollow out of these, too. And, uh, yeah, that's actually a triple rare. So, <laughs> I think you at least get a double rare, but you're not guaranteed a triple or anything. So, there we go. We got childhood friend, uh, Ran, uh, Mori. So, there. <laughs> that's helping me out even more. I'm starting to like Buddy Fight a lot more. Throwing it out there, Yu-Gi-Oh. Give me Prismatic, though. We can all change. And uh, we have, yeah, here's a double rare, uh, Duke of Kicks. I don't know how you say all their names, so yeah, it is an anime I haven't seen. I've heard it's, I've heard of it before, and uh, of course you guys have told me too, which I, I think I already knew this basically, but it's like been going on for a long time. I think there's like a thousand episodes, so yeah, I'd like to watch some of it sometime, but it's kind of like catching up to One Piece. And another triple rare. We got Lonely Girl, uh, again, I'm just going to skip on saying the Japanese name. Because, again, I haven't seen the show, so I don't know how you say these names. And I don't want to make anyone mad that likes the show. I think it's like One Piece or something where it's, uh, like, man, I'm going to have to binge watch a lot if I'm ever going to catch up. Then for this one, oh, that's a holographic common. And, yeah, there's our rare. Another anime I haven't seen, and but I have heard of, so I'm not really sure how you say their names either. I'll, <laughs> forgive me on that. I watch a pretty good amount of anime, but not a ton, so I I don't you know know a lot of these. I basically watch fighting anime, I guess, a lot of Shonen Jump stuff. And yeah, another rare, so I'll let you guys just see the cards on that. Now I do know Attack on Titan. That is one I know of. So I'm not totally lost on this one. But they'll find a way to fool me. Oh, there's the Colossal Titan. It's cool. It's just rare as well. Of 
I wish they'd make like a bleach one of these or something. I know bleach is kind of gone now, but still. Then we have a Resisting Fate uh, Mikasa. Yeah, that's actually, I think I've gotten this one before. It's a double rare. I think that one's actually kind of tough to get, if I remember correctly. Because on my other channel, I actually opened up a, I think more than one box even of this set for White Schwartz. Because again, it was like one of the few White Schwartz animes that uh, I've seen. You know, they've turned into the cards. So yeah, didn't feel as dumb with it. Then also another double rare, which is Beyond the Wall, is uh, Levi. I think that's everyone's favorite. I think they even have a card of him where he has like all that cleaning stuff on or whatever. He's all dressed where he's cleaning that tower, I think. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that episode, but I think that's right. What else can we get? We're doing pretty good with these, actually. Uh, this one's a rare. Battle Stance Gene. And last one for White Schwartz. Card game I probably know the least about on this table. We will see. God, that's creepy. I don't like that Titan. And, of course, Gentle Smile Petra. That is a rare. But I know the names, at least, of those characters, so <laughs> that helps me out. I, I feel like I'm saying them correctly. Now with Card Fight. Oh, oh man, I think we got something really good. Okay, I kind of skipped ahead. Uh, Blue Ward Command, and then, oh man, we got a uh, SVR. I think that's, is that super uh, Vanguard Rare? I, I think that might be what it's called. But yeah, that's really good. Well, there we go. It's Blue Storm, uh, Supreme Dragon, Glory Maelstrom. So yeah, that's like, uh, I guess, I think that's the highest rarity. I, I'm trying to think of a way to compare it in Yu-Gi-Oh. That might be kind of like a Prismatic, probably still not as rare as those, but something around that level, I, I guess I'll say. That is awesome. I do know that these are tough to get. That is for sure. I, I don't know if I would say as rare as Prismatics, but it, it's somewhere around in there. It, it is definitely the highest rarity you can get of that set. I, I know that much, but that is awesome. Since this is on the Yu-Gi-Oh channel too, I, I would try to compare it to more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff for you guys. Either way though, I can't believe we got that. I'm actually going to sleeve for that real quick. I think I, yeah, I have some next to me. I have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh size sleeves, of course, <laughs> next to me and Card Fight and Yu-Gi-Oh are the same size. So that comes in handy. There we go. Okay, I'm sleeving that one. Yeah, and Buddy Fight and Pokemon are the same size. I think Force of Will is, too. Then, uh, Dimension Dragon. Dang, I can't believe we did so well with Card Fight. I, I swear, Card Fight and Buddy Fight have helped me out more than anything. All getting that Striker Dragon was pretty nice. And then also a Dubber, which is a Kohler uh, Guard Dragon. There you go. There's a Guard Dragon you can use. It's not Agrippane, though. Oh, well. I'm gonna miss that one. Oh, that card looks cool. It's like a Grim Reaper. <laughs> That's neat. Wish he was the Hollow. And Red Shift. See, how are we doing on time? We're actually doing pretty good. I'm, I'm trying to go fairly quick, but, I mean, we gotta enjoy this. Seriously. How could you not? A, su a Supreme G uh, Asura Demon Slay. Or Asura, I guess technically how you say that. Looks like a, a weapon from Dark Souls, basically. I've been playing some Dark Souls lately. Uh, one of my friends is basically holding my hand <laughs> through the whole game, so I'm not that great at it. Still fun. Then, uh, 4000 Festival. Yeah, without his help, I don't think I would do as well. <laughs> I'll admit it. The game is really pretty, though, even if it is a tough game. And then also a double rear. This one is uh, Jackknife uh, and Zester. So that is neat looking. I like Jackknife Dragon. I knew I knew of him, too. Him and Asmodai I thought were cool. <laughs> you know, and of course, I like Drum as well. But I, I knew of, like, of course, the beginning characters. Now that it's changed and all the other, I think there's, like, a new main character and all that. So I have no clue anymore. And Govern Star Dragon. I'll just go through these real quick. Then we'll head back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! World. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that is a... Yeah, that's Triple Rare. Okay, I about to say, I think that is, because it looks so cool. It is Top Fist uh, uh, Vangloria... Brazius? Brazius? I don't know how you really say that, but uh, interesting looking card. He looks cool. I like how their triple rears are almost like um, 
uh, ultimate rares anyway, because you can fill holographic. I think there's our last one for Buddy Fight. And uh, we're ending with another triple rare. Okay, it is a, a Link Dragon Orders Hunt. That is really cool. I don't know if any of these are, you know, high value or not either. So I don't know if I'm really doing that well. I'm just kind of like, hey, cool card. I'm happy. <laughs> That's honestly as much thought as going into that because I just don't know, especially with Buddy Fight. Again, I have more of an idea with Card Fight, but yeah. So maybe I've gotten like something really amazing. Let me know. Hey, mind you, that's good. And then we got Heijun, uh, the Wing Makashi. I'll just put all those to the side, I guess. Because everything's holographic, so sure. Then we have another one. Let's get some Prank Kids or something. Well, one of the fusions. And then we also have uh, the Skeletal Makashi. That one's cool looking, too. Kind of reminds me of the Susano from uh, that Itachi uses. Then we got a Seeker Air. Okay, now Yu-Gi-Oh stepping up. They're helping us out now. The Yu-Gi-Oh gods even getting us a win as well. But yeah, we got a Witchcrafter Golem, a Ruru. I think so. You say that? I felt like a dog. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. It, it, it's just a stroke. Uh, <laughs> a nervous twitch. I turned into a dog. Uh, something. Love those kind of names, right? It's like I always say about Gaga Magician and all them. Always fun to say on camera. In front of people. Yeah. Then, Iklos, Dream Mirror Mara. I'm just glad we actually got a Seeker, finally. Oh, I keep putting those together like that when I've been there. I've actually been separating the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And now we got this one, Dino Wrestler and Hypernova Burst. I was kind of wondering, since we got that secret, I was like, uh, probably everything else is going to be super. My Glorious Justice. Don't know what to expect from this one. Oh, it looks like, yeah, both rares. Yeah, we already got like that. Super Vanguard Rare, Supreme Vanguard Rare, whatever the S is supposed to stand for. So, we did pretty good with Glorious Justice. Then it looks like, oh, it can get better. We have a double rare. This one is Blue Wings of Great uh, Cause uh, Thalios. At least we have a few more high cards. I think it's basically a box they threw in here of that set. I think there's like 10 packs a box or something for that one. So, I'm probably going to get about what you would from a box. See, and we we got a triple rare. Okay, I thought it was double rare at first. It is Magical Police uh, Quilt. Well, there we go. Dimension Police. That is a triple rare, though. So that'll help out. And the last one. Pretty happy I got Maelstrom, though. I always thought that card was cool. I remember the original one, of course. Yeah, we got Blue Wings. And then also a Battle Unit. So both rares on that one. Now we still have plenty of these other uh, card fight ones. The second pack that came out for card five. And a rare. Gigatech Charger. It's his name, by the way. Then uh, we have a double rare, Cheer Girl uh, Marilyn. A higher rarity card than for us. Yeah, you can tell how much the rarities have changed too with card fight when you look at some of these older ones. I kind of like the new rarities, but the old ones have a little bit of nostalgia for me. Great Sage. Hoping we get like one of the main ones though. Things like it's a Galling Dragon or whatever his name is, something like that. It's Kagero. Uh, oh, there's a double rare for us. Okay, this one is Witch Doctor of Abyss uh, Negro Bari. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that correctly. Hopefully close enough. I always like the little pirate skeletons, though. Those are cool. Uh, High Dog Breeder. I can't believe we've gone through that many packs, by the way. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of right now. Then uh, Pongle. I think that goes with the dog breeder, so there you go.
And then we have another double rare, which is Young Pegasus Knight. One of the Royal Paladins, of course. I remember Aichi actually using that one. I'll move these a little bit closer. And, oh, we have Blazing Core Dragon. I remember that being tough to get. I think, yeah, he's just a rare, but still, he's uh, actually kind of tough to get. He is one of the cover cards. He helps you bring out the, like I said, the, the main one, though. I can't think of its name right now. Maybe we'll get it. Uh, we have a, a Demonic Dragon Mage. Oh, we might have something with this one. And, uh, yeah, actually, I think this is the main one. This is a triple rare, Blazing Flare Dragon. Yeah, I think I remember actually using this card, too, So because it was Kagura. That's what I actually started using was Kagura even over Paladin. So that's awesome. That's actually pretty awesome to see. Like I said, it actually gives me some nostalgia to see older card fight, because I was really into it at the beginning. It's still pretty good. I just, I don't know. Just time is kind of an issue these days. Luck Bird. And you guys know how much I already spent on Yu-Gi-Oh! So, do I need to be in other card games? Yeesh. I don't know, man. <laughs> don't know. I, I got to make a lot more money if I'm going to do that. Hard to keep up with. Wing Dragon. I already have one addiction, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Don't start another one. Uh, Dragon Egg. There, okay. I can't believe we've gotten this many packs opened. Uh, top Idol Aqua. And last one for Card Fight. Then it's all Yu-Gi-Oh! from there. We'll have to see what we can end with with Card Fight. There, and uh, we have Bermuda Triangle, Cadet, uh, Carvel. So, yeah, unfortunately a rare. But we have Yu-Gi-Oh! to help us out. So I'm hoping maybe with these random packs here... Might at least have another secret rare? I don't know. We'll see. And uh, we got uh, the Dream Mirror Foe this time. Chaos Impact. So I'm hoping for a Prismatic, even. Evil Towel. Venetrack. And... We got a secret error. Okay, I'll take it. We got Firewall, Dragon, Dark Fluid. I actually have three of these now. It's a really cool card and easy to bring out. So, sure, definitely good for uh, Math Mix and really anything Cyverse. Of course, there's regular Cyverse as well. So, that's cool. I'm glad we actually got a secret error. I was hoping that, because I think we might have gotten 12 packs. I never counted them. But I was hoping basically we got half a box. So, maybe we'd get a secret error out of that. And then we got uh, the Arrow Seraphy. Another one of her. And now, the last pack. <laughs> Flames of Destruction. What can we end with? Can we end with something above a super? Let's see. Okay. Can, can I admit that I'm a little tired <laughs> after opening all these? Let's see. And, ah, Nightmare Cerberus. I'll take it, though. And Sekka's Light. I was hoping maybe it was one of the higher rating nightmares, but either way, this is a good one to get, even after reprints and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Here's kind of a recap of everything. Whoa, that might fall over. <laughs> but yeah, these are like the higher rarity cards that we got, like our hollows from Yu-Gi-Oh! And card fight and everything. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. A lot of fun to open up all these packs. And yeah, if you happen to get one of these, let me know what you got. Because uh, I think about a third or so of this, or at least a fourth, was Yu-Gi-Oh! And I feel like we had some good luck. I mean, I got, you know, even uh, a really good card fight card. Like I said, I don't know if that's Super Vanguard rare or what, technically. But I feel like we did amazing out of 100 packs like this. And, of course, give me a reason for that is fun. I do hope maybe, though, next time or at some point, they'll actually sell a pack that will be 100 uh, packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If that happens you know I will definitely get one of those. And we're going to probably do one of those openings anyway. I'm thinking with Black Friday and all that, maybe I can hunt down some of those. But, uh, you know, some packs to actually do something like that. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. A lot of stuff to open up still. And uh, yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.